Bro, listen. Never in my life associated the word boring with baseball. We know, we know what's up. Me? Yeah. Famous? Yeah. And I'm like giddy over there smiling like, holy, I mean, we're about to win this shit. Did everyone give you crap? Give me a good like host story. You know, I'm like, I'm not picking it up. No, we both love the game. We, we talk about it every day. Can't get off baseball. Having some popcorn, you're fooling around your phone. I'd have to weigh a mine for three hours. Like, but hang on, because it's about to be a wild ride. All right, there's nobody I'd rather be talking to right now. Michael, how are you? I'm good. Are you beaming today? <laughs> I, it's it's been. I'm running on like two hours of sleep. I couldn't sleep. I had adrenaline the entire night. Really? I still feel like I have a world of energy. <laughs> that is so awesome. So, in case what we're talking about is that you made your major league debut, um, you know we we've had uh, this is major league debut month here in the podcast because we had a guy named Jamie Westbrook who made his after 11 years in the minors, and it just makes my heart so like feel so good because. It, you, you walk it's one thing to walk in the clubhouse but then it's actually play right was it what you yeah. thought it would be man i've i've gone through this a billion times in my head i mean when you're a five-year-old you're thinking about it you're thinking about oh i'm gonna debut it's gonna be all this and then you get older and then you start thinking the day will never come and uh I, I, it's hard to explain it's funny i i was extremely calm when i was warming up i was extremely calm jogging out I'm like it's just baseball First pitch I threw was outside, like first warm up was outside. Immediately realized what was going on. I immediately yeah. saw the whole crowd, saw the whole stadium, and I was like, whoa, this is a pretty big moment. <laughs> <laughs> At least, yeah, I mean, that's a, first time, you know, you have to be honest about oh, it, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, but it's interesting you talk about that you envision it and you wonder if it's ever going to happen. What was the time where you thought this is never going to happen? Um, during, during COVID, I still. Still believed, then got surgery, and I was like, oh, I'm down bad. And it's funny, I don't know if I was too naive or too dumb or however you want to put it, that I didn't realize how dire straits that was. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was getting surgery late in a career, but in my mind, I was like, I remember people asking, like, are you going to get the surgery? I'm like, well, no, dumb, I'm going to get the surgery. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, get yeah. Fixed. We're going to keep playing. And once I had came back after two years of rehabbing, I realized, I was like, Oh, I can see why they asked that. Like, I've missed those two, the prime years of going up. Yeah. If you look I, at your baseball reference page, there's two years <laughs> missing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And those are like the years where I was seeing all my friends going up and seeing that was that was the era. That's the time. Like, 25, 26, 27 is the age of going up. And I was sitting there not doing anything. And it started to click. I'm like, oh, man, that, that, that could be bad. And yeah. There's days you're in the dog days, hot in the Midwest or in Houston, Sugar Land, sweating and arms starting to ache and you're like oh man this am i really gonna do this like is there a shot and it's funny the uh i was with the rocks for uh four years yeah covid took one tj took two more and so three and then i played with them for one but in that whole time i always imagined debuting here did you oh man i always imagine imagine having like a condo or something in colorado coming out to the field debuting and it's funny that it still happened. It's like, crazy how <laughs> stuff happens, right? Oh, it's insane. It's it, so insane. It, so when, when you're going through that, that time, like you said, like the app post-surgery time, and one of the things I, I think you never just told me, like you were playing in a men's league or something. Right? Yeah. It's funny because that's actually the second time I did it. Um, before I was drafted, I had to go drive to Vegas and play in one. Yeah. Um, it was just some weird stuff happened couldn't play for my team um so i drive out to vegas every sunday and, since and I wasn't, that's from california oh yeah from riverside you and went every sunday to every play, single sunday to play in a men's league four yep. hours away yep oh my god and the worst part was since i wasn't 21 i couldn't stay in casinos and vegas almost every hotel is a casino it's uh, i would drive there check in like a holiday inn they'll be like technically you have a casino you can't stay here and so i just sleep in my car go out play seven drive back then during covid um I couldn't play anywhere, and California was really strict. A buddy of mine named Nico was like, hey, I know a guy, uh, his name's Andrew, he's running this team in San Jose. It's kind of like a bandit thing. We're sneaking onto fields to play our nine and getting out. Do you want to play? And I was like, man, it's baseball. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, it was, it was funny. I mean, think about the, the stories that you have, like the, 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 le- the lead to the mound here at Court Field. It's, yeah. I mean, do well, you, like you said, you only got a couple hours of sleep. What does it – you pitch, you pitch in this insane game, by the yeah. way, and and then and I don't know what it's like after, like after, like throughout the night, the calls, the texts, the reflection, what is it like? Uh, it's crazy. Um, 
I think that's what hit the hardest. Everyone was like, oh, has it hit you? Has this? I'm like, not really, but the outpouring of, of love from people that I haven't even talked to in years, but still rem- reminiscing and it ends up being a moment for more than just me. Like, it, it's a singular thing because it's just me out there, but everyone that's helped me along the way, guys I lived with in college, I slept on their couches, all of these people that I had gone through this trip mm. with, they were a part of it. Guys who I played with that maybe they that was their last year of playing but they were alongside with me and it's amazing like mm. it's it, it felt good and honestly it's funny that one of the posts from uh, the Rockies AAA team that I'm not a very emotional guy yeah. but got a couple tears was uh, the Albuquerque post okay. they put out they're like hey congratulations but they also put that he's been a great gentleman and, and I'm like you know what it's awesome that I could I, I guess like touch someone in that way that they think that I'm a good person I try to be a good person throughout all the stuff I do yeah and that is do cool that and then, that's awesome and yeah. I'll tell you what another one which we saw a lot of last night was from people in your I guess I don't know what you call it your native country I like to call it that sure I mean <laughs> listen you pitch you you pitch for that right? yeah, yeah. I mean, and we're talking about Great Britain we're talking about yeah, England yeah um but it's 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 and so tell me I don't want to get this wrong so you were born in England yes yeah okay yes. but you didn't spend a lot of time there. only about a year okay and one of your parents were from there or? Uh, my mom is technically from Nigeria but she was living there at the time okay um, okay because a lot of Nigeria since it was an English colony a lot of Nigerians ended up living there yeah. all of well half of my cousins on my mom's side lived there and it was just a good place for her to be close to family and all okay so but you know you that people take ownership of it because you 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 were with them in WBC. Oh right? yeah, yeah. So you were one of the, you're, you. They, I'm, I'm all sincerity. Like the, it's so awesome. You you mentioned that you touched so many people and so many people are so happy for you. And and what I'm talking about is the group of people in England. They don't have a. Let's be honest. It's not a lot. <laughs> no. But I don't know if you got that. If you got that wave of. If you saw that wave. Oh of man. I I got the amount of texts from those guys when they started the comeback tour. I I keep telling them that. I'm like. I, it started in Germany on some rainy, cold, miserable nights. And then we got to the U.S., we played in that game, and that was the start of, hey, this guy might have something. Yeah. And it's those guys trying to get on that team in the first place and everything that went through it has been... Yeah, tell me about that. <laughs> that it actually starts way back when I was playing with the Timber Rattlers. Okay. Um, I got an email that said, hey, I noticed that you're... Uh, it was a guy who lived in Canada, was coaching in Canada, and he was like, I work with Great Britain noticed that you were born in England, would you have any interest playing for the team? I thought it was spam. Because I was like, I mean, who in the world turns down playing for a team? But I looked him up, figured it out, found it, responded to him, and I was like, hey, uh, if you're being serious, I would love to play. Mm. And he was like, yeah, of course, we're going to get your details, all this. Gets my details, hear nothing. Hear nothing for like a year. Really? And, oh, yeah. I'm sitting here, I'm bummed out. Like, I had my passport, everything. I'm like, I'm ready to go. And yeah, then yeah, nothing. Yeah. I was bummed then i get into my locker room uh in spring training and they have pamphlets saying do you have great britain um any time of uh, lineage would you like to play and i was like these these jerks i, mean, <laughs> I wanted to play you haven't responded to me right and so, so that you did that got so whoever that was it was sort of they ghosted you but I, what i think happened was um since i didn't have a british passport i couldn't play for a lot of those okay. games okay. and so I wasn't very useful in that right. sense and when it came to world baseball classic right i could play right and so, so I, you fill it out and you're like, oh go. man, I emailed them right away. I was they like, did. hey, I noticed you guys are doing this again. Would love to play. Yeah. I got an email back. It was like, um, would you like to come out to a tryout? And I'm like, I'm in the middle of a season, but here's my video. And they're like, yeah, you're on the team. I was like, yeah. <laughs> all yeah. right, yeah. sounds yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it was funny because that was supposed to happen actually during the COVID year. Yeah. Um, it was supposed to be the first qualifiers, and they were all in Arizona. I got to, I actually met with them in San Diego prior. Drove down to meet them. Um, then Arizona, they all came out. We're all excited. COVID shuts it down. And every single time this happened, I was like, man, my dream is just getting smashed. Yeah, like, you had a lot of roadblocks, man. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, but, but, I mean, that was so, finally, you, you get a chance to, you don't know, because you didn't you know, have to try out, but finally you get a chance to go and be with them. Yeah. Um, and I, were you, did they look at you differently because, because of your resume? You know what's funny is when I first got there against the Germany one, um, there was, um, everyone there is unbelievably nice. Everyone was, there was, uh, Vance Worley had big league time out there yeah. and he was the nicest guy to everybody. And I was like, okay, I didn't know what to expect. Yeah. To be honest, when I first showed up, I was like, is this going to be a glorified vacation or are we trying to do something? And right when I got there, guys were like, no, we've got something here. Yeah. I was like, 
all right, let's do it. And came to the U.S., same thing. It was a weird thing because I was an older guy with a lot of time, but I hadn't played in so long, so everyone was kind of like, we, we don't really know what to expect out of him. How, how, how did how did that, the, the experience, help? Like, there's a lot of things, like steps to get to you, your major league debut, but, you know, the, the WBC, like, helped a lot of people yeah. in a lot of different ways, right? Yeah. How did it help you? Um, it kind of showed that it was possible to do it. Like, I, it sounds really dumb when I explain it to people, but going out and pitching against the U.S. was honestly the easiest thing I could have done because you're expected to fail. Like, yeah. you're playing against not even just an all-star team, but, like, the greatest team assembled. You're expected to lose. We're Great Britain. They're the U.S. Um, you're facing all-star after all-star after all-star, Hall of Famer after Hall of Famer. And so going on the mound, especially we were already down a little bit, I'm like, we'll just go out there and throw. Like, yeah. don't hit anybody, don't walk anybody. Let's see what happens. Yeah. And it turned out a lot better than you could have expected. Yeah. Well, so, yeah, so what was what was it like when that whole thing ends? And it's not only – what you did on the field and you're like okay that was part of the puzzle right i'm showing that i'm a major leaguer this yeah. is i'm going against major league players i'm going that but also then i would imagine that the 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 following that you had from a fan base that you'd even know you had right it's funny because i don't have any social media so uh, you know? I, I see oh. nothing of it okay. and then my brother which is actually now even funnier i yeah. made a deal with a friend in college way back that if I ever made it to the big leagues, I have to make social media. Oh, yeah. So, Did you make it? So no, not yet. Uh, I'll make an Instagram at some point coming oh, up here. Oh, we're gonna hold that to you. Let's I know. go. Let's go. <laughs> He's been texting me nonstop. His name's Andrew. He's like, "Dude, you promised you're gonna make one. You're gonna make one." I'm like, "I know, I know." <laughs> of, of, of all the weird promises that you make the made. Did, did you remember that? At all? Oh man, I remembered it absolutely because you really? never let me forget it. Oh really? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, that's, that is so good. Oh, yeah. But but so but but. I don't know, without, even out without social media, did you feel like, oh, oh yeah. like this? Well, these my brother was seeing it all. Okay. And so he was sending me all this stuff. And my friends that are on Twitter were like, dude, you're kind of trending. And I was like, what? And they're like, dude, they're, they're talking about you all these places. And I was like, well, that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, again, stuff that you, even in the fact, we're, we're like, Major League debut, third deck. We, like, we joke about this. Yeah. Third deck, like you get the third deck. Sugar Land, there's no third deck. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been there, but I'm totally taking the complete guess. Go stand the sun, it's the same thing. The, the, there's, a, there's a half a deck. Yeah. But, but the WBC, there's third decks. Yeah. And this is, that was probably your first sort of experience of that. Too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, so it's, it's, that was, and it wasn't that long ago. No. I mean, I mean, in, in, was that, would it be fair to say, of the things that catapult, like what is the thing that catapulted you to? You think the I think that because really? um, it was it was one of those things where I I could no longer just be somebody who has done it and no one's seen it. Like the amount of guys I've come across, I've been playing pro ball for nine years. The amount of guys you see that have unbelievably ta unbelievably talented guys that just don't get a shot, and it's mm -hmm. because they did it in West Virginia and whatever happened, whether it was someone in front of them or maybe they weren't, whatever the reason is they don't get to ever get a chance mm. because it's easy to hiding it isn't the right way to put it but it's easy to kind of just yeah that didn't happen yeah maybe he had a one in high a but yeah. but you know oh, nah. I, I we just had i'm glad you mentioned that we just had on nestor cortez yeah he was a 36 round pick yeah when you're a 36 round pick you you you're the excuse every single time. If you're the first or second round pick, yep. you're getting the oh, yeah, fifty million chances. But if yeah. you're like if you're the guy who is to your point of of powered through all these things and now you've landed, you know, at the age of like, ah oh, well, okay, maybe, but yeah, you know. no, hundred percent. You yeah. see it I mean you see it time and time again. The guy will bat four hundred for three seasons, have one season where he's batting two fifty and they'll go, Now nah, we're done. Yeah. But because he was a free agent sign or a pitcher who is one ERA, one ERA, one one season he has a blow up literally a blow up in it and his era is a four and they go well we don't need him anymore he can't make it and yeah if you for me i was blessed to do well on that big of a scene where it was like even now we have to pay attention to him like yeah. hey we just saw what he can do let's see if it's repeatable and then if you put up numbers it becomes well we saw that and we saw that he could actually play maybe we have something and then you go from there and so you've probably been asked this but the moment that they tell you you're going. I mean, we just, like I said, this is one of my favorite things, um, whether it's videotaped or not. You know, I. But so, what was what was that like? So, um, we were in Sugarland. It was a billion degrees. Um, spread was okay, but I'm a Californian. We wanted in and out, and so it was me, Gaudi, Hertz, and um, Ben Casparius, and we're like, let's just go. And so I got dressed really fast. 
jumped in the car, cruised out, got a phone call from our manager. I didn't have his number saved. So I'm just like, oh, spam, didn't pick it up. Dry, we get to in and out I walk in, order my food, and uh, I get a text. It's from Trav going, hey, call me back. And I was like, oh, no. Which is a weird thing to think when I'm like, I'm going to get called up. But, oh, no, I just ordered a 4 by 4 on fries. <laughs> <laughs> and so I go out, call him back, and he goes, hey, um, you're getting called up. You and JP are heading out. Um, you need to come back and get your stuff. And I was like, cool, I can do that. Give me a second. And so Hurt is a great guy. He's like, hey, I'll drive you back to the field. I'm like, cool. So I'm sitting there trying to eat a four by four. My stomach is like churning because I'm about to leave. So house that, jump in the car, head back to the field, pack up my stuff. Our flight, I had to be up at like three in the morning. I think I fell asleep at two. Yeah. Uh, get like an hour does nap. It, does it hit? I mean, does it hit? Oh, my goodness. It, it, at that point, I was so up and down. Like, couldn't sleep. In and out was not sitting well because adrenaline everything yeah, going on yeah it's, uh, a, it's a bad combination it's not a great no one no offense to in and out but I mean like, <laughs> oh man I would still to this day crush it yeah but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no it was not the, the move at 11 o'clock at night when you have to be up at 3 <laughs> <laughs> but but so when but, but, and then and then when you walk in to the, the major league clubhouse this is another thing we talked to Jamie with it. it's like when you walk in it's just I mean yeah, I, it's insane yeah I don't know if, if if, it, if that hit like you thought it would. It, the greatest part, I kind of equate this to uh, when you go into like a high school and you did the, uh, like the, the pre-high school summer classes or something. Mm-hmm. So you kind of know people. Mm. I was at spring training and so like I came in, it was just a lot of excitement and a lot of guys who I had uh, I'd talked to in spring that were like, hey, I'm glad you kept your head down. I'm glad you kept working. And yeah. it was really cool. It didn't, I came in also, it was in LA and we got in at like seven in the morning. Yeah. And so I walked out, it kind of hits. I went out to the top steps on the stadium and kind of looked out. It was still empty. Everyone was cleaning it up. And I was like, yeah, this is, this is my workplace. Oh, oh yeah. Good for you. Went out, took a little video. I mean, I'm not nece- necessarily a sentimental person, but at that yeah. point I'm like, I think I kind of have oh, to be. Oh <laughs> yeah. And I can't wait for when you post it on your new Instagram. Account. I know. It's going to be great. <laughs> it's going to be great. I know. Uh, well, I really appreciate it. You made my day. Um, last question is Summer Olympics or Winter Olympics? I, I've always loved Winter Olympics, but now that baseball is sneaking back into Summer Olympics, mm. it's tough not to like that well, one. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to say that you, you know, actually, I, you can't. You're, you can't, you're, you're exactly. busy. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're busy. Yeah, yeah. If, they could, if they could take like a two week gap for us to sneak right. out there, <laughs> you'll be back in the WBC next time. If they have so. me, absolutely. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. It.